Hi, my name is Ty DiLaVenta. Thank you for joining me today here in my studio. And because I'm respectful of your time, I promise you to keep this brief. When I was nine years old, I became mindful of my destiny. I was staying with my grandmother and looking at her August issue of Life magazine when I came across the paintings of Jackson Pollock. I mean, it was like magic, the way his work captured my young soul. And in that moment, I knew that someday I too would be an artist. However, growing up in a small farming community back in the 40s and wanting to be an artist was considered simple foolishness, and I would soon outgrow it. Peer pressure crushed my dream and pointed me in another direction. It would be five decades a mystical experience at the ancient ruins of Tulum and my daughter's encouragement before I would embark upon a path of art. Unschooled, and at the age of 60, I created my first work. This Mayan sculpture, which I proudly gave to my daughter and she refuses to part with it. But my wife said to me, you need to enter that in an upcoming art show at the St. Louis Artist Guild. With more than 800 entries, my first work of art was jury selected as one of 60 compositions chosen for the show. Armed with this validation and support from my family and friends, I opened the studio and I would sculpt for the next 10 years. Then once again, with renewed interest in the life and works of Jackson Pollock, I embraced my true calling and I started painting at the age of 70. I strongly believe in the words of Leonardo da Vinci, that where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. I have studied mysticism and practiced daily meditation for 45 years. My art is intuitive, automatic, unconscious, whatever you want to call it. But I profess that meditation is the wellspring of my art. I know this is hard to imagine, but I actually feel a presence and a guidance of an artful spirit when I'm working. I can tell you this, and without a doubt in my mind, I know that creation comes from the depth of my being. I'm now 76. I'm going to be 77 in January. And I paint large canvases with dynamic colors, movement, and texture. That genuinely satisfies my childhood dream with passionate joy. Last but not least, Whatever I have achieved and what I have yet to accomplish, I owe it all to my wife who believes in me and to my daughter who still encourages me to this day and to the living spirit within that creates the art. Thank you again for your patience and listening to my journey and may you have a good day.